How is up, everyone? So recently, a number of people asked me about how to add custom characters in Nobunaga's Ambition Awakening because they saw my playthrough. Now, it's actually really easy, though I only know how to do it on the PC version. So if you're playing on the console version, I can't help you. I'm sorry. I don't know if it's possible or not. But anyway, so to do so, when you boot up the game, you'll see like this portrait adding tool which you then click on and uh, you'll be brought to a nice little program that allows you to make your characters. Do this. Okay, so I've already made a number of characters and you see, I also made them transparent. That's one of the things I think people are really asking me for. At least I think. Like a lot of people ask me about just simply adding characters. I'm not entirely sure if they just meant adding characters in general or adding characters with transparency. So since um, adding characters is relatively simple, as you've just seen, I might as well show you how to do it with transparency, and we'll go inside the game and uh, add the characters like that. Okay, so in order to do so, you need to have a uh, file that's already been, pre been prepared. I've done this for the past, like, seven to eight years since uh, Romance of Three Kingdoms 13, so um, it's actually not that hard. It's actually pretty easy. It's uh, based off of bitmaps. So first, we need to actually create the file, and uh, since I was planning on making characters anyway, so I might as well go and uh, make one. So, all right, so I prepared ahead of time. It's something like this, all right? Okay, so if I want to add Anya and uh, Becky into the game, First, let's get rid of the white background, because we'll need that in order to make them transparent. They'll still have a background when they show up in the game, but um, when they show up in like uh, special animations and such, they'll be transparent. This is the background that came with the picture that I that I found so <laughs> I was like okay you know what that's fine I, I can use this I don't need something too uh, overt or complicated so yeah you use the magic stick tool or whatever it's called and you just delete the uh, white background it's much better for white white backgrounds but if you say for example have uh, a complicated background you may as well just ignore it unless you uh, want to put some work into it, which I did with the Don't Buy picture uh, eight years ago. In fact, it even does the whole breathing animation that um, Romance of Three Kingdoms 13 featured. In this one, they featured characters that can blink, but you can't really do it in the uh, portrait tool. You have to actually do it in the uh, internal files, and uh, the modding scene for this game isn't as good as it was back in uh, 2016. But anyway... So, after you've removed the um, white background, you can then use the magic wand tool, 255, and just select a character like this. So then you go and go to channels. This is how it's done in Photoshop, so I apologize if you don't use Photoshop and you use something else. Maybe they'll have the same feature, but this is the, I only know how to do it on Photoshop, so please please understand. I, I, I'm only merely teaching others how I did this. So you enable the other channels, the RGB channels like this, and then you go back to the alpha channel and delete. Once you've done that, you basically created a transparent character. Okay, so now, do this. I guess extra space is no problem. You crop the character. After you crop the character, you create a save file. You create a bitmap, like this, and then you're pretty much done. So you go back to the program, you go and uh, look for the picture that you just did. And then that's it, really. Well, though, the red edges are a bit of a pain. Maybe I could get rid of it if I were to... Here, let's redo this again. Maybe that'll, it'll reveal what I've just done. So this time, I'm going to turn anti-alias off. Again, we create a new alpha channel. 
So like these, oh, there we go. Delete. All right, after you've created your save file, eh, the red edges still kind of show. I guess it, you can't really do anything about it. Although, this picture is really big. Holy crap. And you just create the area for which you want your character to be focused. But man, this picture is really too big for, for this. And then there you go. You've just created a character. And with transparency. So when they show up in like events and such, they'll show up like this. Pretty interesting, right? So now you do that for the rest of the... Uh, for the rest of the character, but yeah, this picture is entirely too big. It makes it really hard to edit. Doesn't center too well either. Looks, looks all right. Okay, all right. So, so there you go. So then you just do this for each and every category. Oh, this one turned out pretty nice. You just do it again. And there, see, now the character has been created. <laughs> Just noticed that skull there. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> That's awesome. That is awesome. I only just noticed that, and that's awesome. Eh, this will do. Okay, so now that we have done this, we save our hard work that we just put in. But yeah, I'm especially proud of what I did with this Don't Buy. I, I literally shaved every, every imperfection. You, you saw those like red edges that, that the background had? That does not exist for Don't Buy. I, I cleaned it up very well. But, but that was way back then, like uh, 2016, and I had more energy then to do such things okay all right now that we've done this let's move on now we get into the game proper any moment now went into the background And then create new. Select the face, it's under assimilation. I don't know why there's two of them. Maybe you can have like a whole ton of them. Huh, doesn't this look a little off center to you? I'm gonna have to fix that. So once again, we go back to this funny program. Select Becky and try again! Well, there you have it. I made my characters, I finished them, and now I gave them some stats. Uh, for Anya in particular, I gave her Yuan Shu stats, because those stats look like something that a... Uh, a child that is in the developmental stages would have and I gave her a bit of an edge oh really I didn't do anything I just literally just copied one true stats but they look like something that would make sense right I mean she wouldn't be good at politics she has a slight edge in fighting because uh, she she can read minds and being able to read minds actually helps a whole ton it's just that she, she's not entirely strong to begin with and I gave her something like uh, confuse because I don't know maybe she can use her mind powers to uh, confuse people They're like confusion in Pokemon or something like that. Okay, look, I'm really, 
<laughs> I'm really stretched thin here. Please. I just added some really silly stuff on my characters. Uh, code of the Priest, uh, that, that gives a policy for surrendering. Maybe she can use her mind powers to induce people to surrender by controlling their minds. Or she could use focus as a conservation trait. Oh, by the way, if you're going to add conservation traits, you should really look and be careful about disadvantages that they have. You, you don't want to, um, you don't want to make yourself poor because you've decided to, um, say, I don't know, take tireless training, give yourself a lot of abilities, but end up paying 40% of your entire gold income. Let me tell you something, that will break the bank no matter how rich you are. You will become exceedingly poor. I have never run out of money before, but... I, I, I'm gonna assume that really bad things happen if you don't manage your finances properly. For traits, I chose uh, something like this. Like, okay, maybe she's devoted to family, so you know, settlements build faster. Well, she's devious, she thinks of some evil spy plans. But really, the, the main thing that I think is really good for her, that, thematically anyway, is uh, Way of the Ninja. Not because that she's a ninja or anything, but it this thing disables covert op covert actions so she can fight spies because she can read their minds I thought that that's really cool I think that that fits her theme perfectly and you know like all the character stuff I, so it's messed up. unfortunately there's not much voices for for characters so I just have to pick one of three for female characters it's, it's what it is. And, Becky, you know, it's the same thing, though I chose... <laughs> you know, it's funny, kind of funny, like, uh, Anya, I chose AI level A, and uh, Becky, I chose B. And what she does is, uh, I gave her Yuan Yao stats, which makes her below average in pretty much every... You know, 50 is supposed to be average, but when you're... Ca when, like, people you fight are, like, stats of, like, 90 to 100, or, like, 80-something, 50 seems like a really low stat and it, and it really is but you know that's she's not meant to be fighting she's a child but she's good at supplying muskets now once again when it comes to um conservation stats you have to make sure you pay attention to the disadvantages so i chose what musket supplier yeah if i chose the max level then my musket uh, my entire faction would have level 5 musket, but I would also have to pay 40% of all my income for it, which is hideously expensive. So maybe I could, I don't know, maybe like I could chill out a bit and uh, do this instead where I um, pay only 20% for for uh, level 3 muskets. Yeah, It's a pretty good ratio. I think it's even better than the uh, 5 to 40% ratio. It's definitely better than the standard, which is 1 for 10%. So I, I think that uh, yeah, it's the better ratio. Not that it really matters, because I don't know if I'm actually going to use that. Because 20% uh, of my gold income is still a considerable chunk. All that just... Well, okay, maybe not just. It really is a lot of help. But, like, muskets are very good to have. So uh, I'll think about it. In any case... Um, then I trade, say, you know, she, she, she give gifts, and she builds faster because she's a, uh, heir of a, um, of an industry, and she, uh, has bonuses to guns, but that's about it. Really, you don't take her out to fight or anything like that. Anyway, that's about it, really. That's, that's, uh, I just kind of made the characters and, and showed you how to do it. And now, you, too, can make your own very own character in Nobunaga's Ambition Awakening. I thank you all for watching. Until next time.